complaining if you often find yourself just complaining about a lot of things in your life or being in a very whining energy then this video might help you so first quickly about complaining what does complaining do complaining just makes you believe that you are a victim it uh, strengthens the victim mindset so strongly that when your victim mindset when your victim mindset is activated what tends to happen is you tend to feel low on your self worth you tend to feel low on your self confidence you tend to feel just low on faith and confidence in regards to things in your life that can support you people in your life that can support you or situations in your life things that can support you so while it may seem like that you know because things are not going a particular way and i want to complain and it's okay to feel the way i'm feeling which it is but at the same time if you let the behavior of complaining catch on to you then what tends to happen is a you are enabling the victim mindset b you are actually kind of reducing your self worth and self confidence because when you are complaining you are constantly reminding yourself that things do not work out for you which of course is a way of like negative self talk and you are reminding yourself that your worth is low give an analogy here suppose you are driving a car you took a particular route knowing that it is the right route or maybe just seeing that you know as and when i'll be like driving on the route i'll figure my way out but in the end you end up reaching a dead end now when you are at the dead end you can complain about it and of course you would feel like complaining about it right like you would be so upset that you could have been driving for hours and you have not like reached your way and now you are at a dead end so it's natural to complain about it but what tends to happen is you can complain about it for 10 minutes for 15 minutes for half an hour but at the end you will have to take the responsibility of stop complaining and probably starting the engine again and taking a u turn and then from taking a u turn navigating your way to the right path so this is exactly what one needs to understand when they are in a complaining energy it is okay to complain because complaining is basically a way of you also expressing yourself and you may be validating your own feelings to yourself but you have to ensure that you are not enabling that behavior or making this behavior your habit and you have to ensure that you are able to get out of this behavior just like at the dead end you would decide that okay at at least some point i'm hoping that you would decide that it's fine i need to like start the engine and take a u turn and like start it from scratch like going to the path where i was going similarly to this you are going to be addressing your complaining behavior to ensure it doesn't become a habit number 1 know your complaints know your complaints here means that you know when we are usually complaining we complain you know about everything and each thing without actually realizing the foundational or the core point example if you are saying that oh my god nobody supports me why i don't have friends oh my god i feel so alone da 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 so maybe the main complaint is that we are just actually feeling lonely and alone or we are feeling in uh, like we don't have a lack like, like we don't have a support system similarly if you are complaining about that you know my superior is so annoying my clients are so annoying my work is so annoying i hate waking up early maybe what we are truly complaining about is a not so great work environment a not so happy work environment or work culture so first very important thing is know your complaints second even more important validate your complaints because you know when we are complaining and complaining in general is such a negative word now the moment you talk about complaining or the moment you complain to a friend or to your own self automatically a part of you just wants to go like oh no there's so much to be grateful for there's so much to be thankful for and in that process what you are doing is you're not even paying proper attention to your feelings and where these complaints are stemming from so you do that job for yourself you validate your complaints to yourself so suppose if you're feeling in a particular manner in regards to your job in regards to people around you in regards to your own choices in your life validate them validate them how by acknowledging them that yes this is an actual situation that i am in and yes this is how i'm feeling and yes maybe it's not making me happy maybe it's making me feel like this also remember usually complaints come from a fact where we are unhappy 
I mean, why do we complain about something because you are unhappy, right? So that's why you need to validate your own feelings that yes, because you are complaining or you are in this mindset right now, it is valid, and you accept yourself. Like it's okay to feel like this. It is time to accept and take responsibility. So validated your feelings. literally men that you know like if you have realized that you have reached the dead end so now you have understood right there's no way forward so yeah this is it you're validating your feelings you're validating your frustration that i've been driving for so many hours and still i've like reached the dead end it's so annoying but then you need to accept it also right like up to dead end pe pahunch gaye ho na now there is nothing else so similarly you need to accept the situations in your life you need to accept your own decisions your own choices after acceptance comes the most difficult part which is responsibility you need to take responsibility of not complaining so here responsibility again with the whole uh, dead end analogy means that now that you reached the dead end you have accepted it so the responsibility here literally means at least gather that courage or gather that intention ki okay let me start the engine again and fine let me now take a u turn and start the whole process of finding where i was going from scratch and while i'm saying this in a video it's damn easy but the time between acceptance and actually wanting to take responsibility can vary from 2 3 days to weeks to months depending upon how large the complaint or the issue seems in your life remember taking responsibility means that you are finally controlling your mind and your thoughts and not the other way around and honestly like it's no secret but this is like the ultimate goal of life like you should be able to contain control your mind and brain so now that you've decided to be responsible about it the first thing to do first is you have to find just one thing that you're grateful for so start off by thanking things that we truly actually take for granted you know so replace your complaint with one thing that you're grateful for and remember we have already done the process of validating our feelings knowing our complaints etc so we are not saying that our complaints are invalid we are simply saying that okay we want to get out of this behavior of complaining and take more charge learn to interrupt your thoughts i mentioned this in my other video also put alarms in your phone you know Two, three alarms. Put alarms that you know maybe like times when you know that you actually think a lot more about uh, issues in your life or complaints in your life. Get into a habit of interrupting your thoughts. And maybe in the alarm you can just put the labels being like, "Stop thinking, focus." One very great idea would actually be to put your alarms literally during the angel numbers, during eleven, eleven, during twelve, twelve, two, two, all the mirroring numbers. and why is that because you know like how we all just feel that oh the angels are talking to us why are these numbers and one very important thing when we see an angel number is also just to check your thoughts so maybe putting an alarm during that time is a great way of simply reminding yourself that yes consciously i'm choosing the right thoughts or even if i'm not thinking anything then i'm consciously choosing not to think anything and that time and simply to focus on the task at hand which is then i'm practicing mindfulness talk positively to yourself and so positively that you put yourself on a pedestal you have it in you to be able to navigate through this too meaning again the car analogy you drove till the dead end also right you could have been driving for hours you have the capability to able to maneuver the situation <clears throat> to take a u turn to again find your path just maybe right now you are in this energy where you are just feeling frustrated that why could i not reach the path straight up it's okay but you have it in you so th this is very important that you talk to yourself positively you appreciate yourself you appreciate your certain traits you appreciate your behaviors you appreciate who you are that got you till here and you remind yourself that you have it in you to be able to take it forward also from here no matter this may sound a little paradoxical but when you are in a complaining energy it's a great time to manifest or affirm but there is a catch you don't manifest or affirm things which are actually things like oh i need a house i need a car i need a job no instead what you do is you manifest and you affirm traits then you are in this energy where you have uh, decided to take responsibility then it's a great 
time to actually manifest certain traits in you suppose if you are a person who wants to maybe just start seeing the good in things then you affirm yourself to that that you know i'm some i'm someone who always sees the good in people if you are somebody that you know who's trying to maybe become more consistent with your life and one of your complaint is that you know maybe i'm just tired with my own self and my own behaviors so maybe you can start with affirmations of consistency that no matter what i always show up for the tasks that i promised to myself so uh, complaining actually post complaining the phase of taking responsibility is great to manifest or affirm certain traits or changes in your life and now the last thing find your dopamine it's dopamine or dopamine i don't know anyway you have to find things within your day within your week that give you at least a little bit of joy they can be just like 10 minute things it can be simply maybe just taking a little bit extra time to wash your face more properly to something like <clears throat> enjoying a particular food every day in the evening so you have to just ensure that scientifically hormonally you are releasing dopamine or dopamine i really don't know what's the pronunciation so you have to make a conscious choice of doing something that is giving you happiness of start of by 5 minutes or 10 minutes because secretion of that hormone during this energy of complaints is very important so once you are able to do that it is going to just ensure that rest everything that you are doing is also falling into place because yeah your body is supporting you via hormones If this video made any sense, then please don't forget to comment below. And also, if you have any questions, then please comment below. I would love to answer those.